So um, I just want to point out how we would go about hunting for star forming regions and looking for more observational evidence of all these evolutionary stages. So the Orion Nebula is the classic one, and I'm just going to show you the um, textbook images. I'm sure you've seen them already if you've done the reading. But it's worth pointing out that if you um, just look in the visible range only, then you don't really see anything of interest except for the stars, and you can actually see the glow from the nebula on this kind of Orion scabbard, I guess. And then if you look in the infrared, then you can see the um, traces of all the dust that's in the giant molecular cloud in Orion. So if you want to look for baby stars, your first step is to use an infrared telescope to do it, um, because that'll tell you where to zoom in. So here, if we want to look closer at the um, star forming regions of the Orion Nebula, I would say zoom in on any of these bright infrared spots. And when we do that, then we'll see a little bit more detail on what's happening in this stellar nursery. So on the left here, again, we're looking in the visible range and you can see, you know, these dark dust lanes from dust blocking starlight. Um, we can see bluish and reddish regions of reflection nebulae and emission nebulae. And if we look in the infrared, then we can see the areas in the nebula that are um, shining brightest in the infrared. The protostars, we know, they shine brightly in the infrared. And so if you want to catch a protostar, zoom in on those regions again. And when we do that, then we, we see something very interesting, which is that in this uh, visible range, it's you know shrouded by dust. So we don't see a whole lot. We see four bright stars. Um, but if we look in the infrared so that we can see through that dust, then we actually see a very dense, crowded neighborhood uh, where this star cluster has just been born. So this is called the trapezium cluster. These bright stars are the highest mass stars, but you can see a whole cluster of um, smaller stars behind them. And in general, this um, stars form in clusters like this. They don't usually just form by themselves, uh, but they form all together. And then over time, they might drift apart. 